In tonight's headlines, the government appoints 179 people from all walks of life to the district councils. Robbers escape with watches worth $20 million from a Chimsa Choice store, which was also raided three years ago. And Xi Jinping visits Vietnam to improve ties and shield it from U.S. influence. Two days after Hong Kong held its first district council elections under the revamped electoral system, the government unveiled its list of 179 appointed members. Around 40 percent of the appointees, or 69, had run in the previous elections in 2019, with 49 of them losing. They include Southern District Care Team leader Chi Lap Wai and his DAB colleague Hong Lin Cham. We stick to the meritocracy principle and we take into account connection with the community as we appointed members. They enthusiastically take part in community affairs. They will effectively enhance the services provided in the districts. The appointees come from various backgrounds, including grassroots and labor, as well as the commercial sector. They also include ethnic minority representatives. Most of them are aged between 40 and 64, with the youngest 23 years old. The authorities also reviewed the list of 27 ex-official members, who include Hengi Kok Chairman Kenneth Lau and Hao Chi Kung, who heads the Shengshui Rural Committee. The 18 district councils across the city comprise 470 members, of whom only 88 were directly elected compared with 452 in 2019 when voter turnout was a record 2.9 million. The revamped councils include the 179 appointees, 176 members chosen by local committees, and the ex-official members. Janice Lowe, Cable News. Chief Executive John Lee has urged people to focus on the effectiveness of district councils rather than the record low voter turnout in Sunday's elections. About 1.2 million people cast their ballots, and Lee said it was a good figure. The enhanced and improved uh, district council election system uh, has the merits of producing uh, the most qualified and competent uh, district Council members uh, to contribute to the well-being of the district. It is important we focus uh, our attention on the outcome of the election. And the outcome will mean a constructive district council rather than what used to be a destructive one. Referring to a computer malfunction that forced voting to be extended by 90 minutes, Lee said the Electoral Affairs Commission will investigate and submit an interim report in six weeks and a full report within three months. It was also revealed that there were 22,000 invalid ballots, amounting to 1.8 percent of the total. Political heavyweight Tam Yu Chong, who is now vice president of the Chinese Association of Hong Kong and Macau Studies, said that might have occurred because voters are not used to the revamped electoral system yet and selected more than one candidate. Voters could choose more than one name in previous elections. Janice Yu, Cable News. A watch store in Chim Sha Chui has been robbed for the second time in three years. Four masked men armed with knives burst into Alpha Watch and Jewelry on Granville Road at around 3 p.m. They grabbed more than 30 watches worth at least $20 million and fled in a getaway car driven by an accomplice. Shattered glass littered the store, which lost watches and jewelry worth $1.5 million in the previous smash and grab. Police have launched a manhunt into today's daylight robbery. A new 
batch of vaccines against the XBB variant of COVID has arrived in Hong Kong. Its safety and efficacy profile is similar to another batch of the same type of vaccines which arrived last month. Free shots will be offered first to people aged 65 or above before the second phase is opened to others in high-risk groups. Senior citizens can make online bookings for jabs from tomorrow morning. President Xi Jinping is in Vietnam on a visit aimed at improving ties and preventing his southern neighbor from moving too close to the United States. Accompanied by his wife Peng Li Yuan on his first trip to Vietnam in six years, Xi was warmly welcomed in Hanoi by Prime Minister Phan Minh Cheng. Xi said he is looking forward to conducting exchanges with Hanoi to lift their relations to a higher stage. In talks with Nguyen Phu Chong, the General Secretary of Vietnam's ruling Communist Party, the Chinese leader said their countries will build a strategic community of shared future. Xi's visit comes three months after U.S. President Joe Biden traveled to Vietnam. Eight trucks rolled into Gaza through the Rafah crossing on the Egyptian border bringing much-needed supplies to over 2 million trapped Palestinians, tottering on the verge of starvation. Desperate Palestinians rushed for clean drinking water after Israel cut off supplies at the start of its offensive two months ago. Israeli forces attacked the southern Gaza cities of Khan Yunus and Rafah. In the central Gaza city of Deir al-Bala, a hospital received the bodies of 40 people, including women and children, who were killed in an Israeli airstrike on a refugee camp. More than 18,000 Palestinians have been killed and 50,000 wounded in the Israeli bombings, which followed a Hamas assault on southern Israel in October. Families with newborn infants are struggling as there are no supplies of baby formula. In Washington, elderly protesters demanding a ceasefire chained themselves to the fence of the White House. Four years ago to the day I was born, the last death march left Auschwitz. I was born here in Washington, D.C. at GW Hospital. It's unbearable to me that there's another genocide happening right now in my name, and I'm doing everything I can to stop it. My granddaddy Moisha came from a shtetl in Poland, and he would want me to be here today. Police use chain cutters to remove the protesters and take them away. Sachin Katwi, Cable News. Two Chinese-made passenger planes have landed at the airport at 2 p.m. on their maiden flights to Hong Kong. The C919 is similar to the Airbus A320 and the Boeing 737 and can carry 192 passengers. It will stage a demonstration flight over the harbor and Hong Kong Island on Saturday if the weather is good. The ARJ21 is the first narrow-body regional aircraft independently built and designed by China and can fly up to 92 people. Both planes will be on show till Sunday. After an absence of four years, fireworks will light up Victoria Harbour to welcome the new year. The social unrest and COVID deny the city its annual treat since 2020, 
while 2023 was ushered in with a light show. The show for the countdown to 2024 will be the largest ever, with a display spanning 13,000 meters. Five barges in the harbor will discharge four seasonally themed fireworks displays at the same time. As part of the celebrations, sparks will shoot up from the rooftops of three iconic landmarks on Hong Kong Island every 15 minutes, starting at 11 p.m. on New Year's Eve.